Should be items here. So as you can see, you're getting all these different gear sets. So it really doesn't matter which character you start with in the beginning, because you're going to pick up all the gear. Like for example, I'm wearing a fist gear. I like it because it looks better, and it's got poison resist and bleed resist. Which works for me, like especially at this uh, start of the game. Yeah, most of the people are just using swords against you, so bleed resist is important. And uh, as you're entering Blood Town, well, you need poison resist. Now, time to watch me die to a Black Knight. Come on, Black Knight. These guys, if killed, they will not respawn. Luckily. <laughs> But uh, they're a bitch to take down. They hit very hard. So make sure you keep your stamina high. And try to get some backstabs in. Ah oh, shit. That's an opportunity. Okay, it's gonna take me about four backstabs to kill him. Maybe five. Yeah, every chance you get. Lower your shield. Oh, keep that stamina regenerating as fast as possible. Come on, give me an opportunity. Remember to backstab, you need to keep your shield down. Can't be holding your shield up while attacking, otherwise the backstab won't work. Win. Ooh, nice. Bonus. Yeah, these guys can drop items, uh, shields, armor pieces, weapons, but uh, it's a rare drop. What you really want down here is the shield. It gives you stamina regeneration, like really good, fast stamina regeneration. It's a really good shield, especially if you're going to go two-handed weapon, because as it just hangs on your back, you'll gain the regeneration for your stamina. And it's called the Grass Crest Shield. Very good shield. Also, a bonfire down here. So, decisions, decisions. Actually, there's a Black Knight down here. I might go kill him. Nope. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so he likes to do three attacks in a row. Shield bash and a sword attack. And memorize his moves so he can survive. That's a big attack. That's a one. So yeah, don't walk yourself into a corner. I'll just rape you. Now this crush is great. Nice. Awesome Black Knight sword. So I do wear the other armors occasionally. Situational. And I have to modify. I need large. Oh, large. God damn, I thought I need a twinkling. Ah, uh, fail again. Sorry. Oh, whatever. Souls. I do not have any timeline shots. How long am I going to be wearing this armor? A while. I better upgrade it while I get the opportunity. Actually, better purchase. New talk. 
one of these things, five out of purchase. Reinforcing armor at bonfires, reinforcing weapons at bonfires or repairing. I'm going to get the repair box. There's a good chance I'll need that, that's very important. Let's see how many souls I have. Yep. Stop talking please, I can access. Now I need... Okay, so I got one proud knight, which I think is a thousand souls. Large soul nameless soul dressing is 800, so we call that uh, 5 8 40, 5000, and this should be a little one. Okay, time to dump some souls. So I'll buy those other two boxes. You only ever need one, and it works for all fires. There you go. Now we're feeling stronger. Time to tackle the depths. Or lower under the bird at least. Okay, let's move onwards with the game. By the way, I have no idea why I have 12 hearts, but I'm not complaining. Often there are other things that happen in the game, like there are other people around you that do things, so then you pick up stuff from them, like some, someone dies right next to me and they have humanity off, and I'll pick it up. I'm guessing that they must have reinforced their fire right when I'm standing next to it. I don't understand everything in this game. But I go along with it because the story really never tells you anything at the same time. Okay, this time we have 12 versus last. We are going to win. And I'm upgraded. Oh, except for my sword. Armor's better. Shield got a crest shield. This should be a walk in the park. Uh, how do I not do a punching attack on him? Oh, this game. <laughs> Make it so hard when it's so easy. All these mobs are changing their attack patterns. Space myself. So, two dogs and a butcher. No dog. Ah, oh, God, that dog. No, that's right, I killed the first butcher. Attack me first. As you can see, I'm doing a uh, lunging attack. Because I. Because my sword would normally attack to hit the ceiling. 
and then try to get up to here and then change my mind. Okay, look up to the ceiling. There's actually a slime right there. And there's a guy that comes through here. See how I'm going really slowly? If I had the rust of Iron Ring, that'd be different. Let's kill this guy first. So he doesn't interrupt me. There are two mindsets you could uh, run in, hope the best, when you grab that. Or you could shoot it down. Personally, I'm just going to sneak on the side and cut my luck. Ah, uh, fail. Yes, release me, please, release me, please, thank you. Oh, well, yes, a waste of rest of flowers. And slime, come on. Best way to attack these when you don't have fire, pyromancy, or anything else. Like that. attack and mostly yeah so as a sorcerer or pyromancer this will be a lot easier not worth the effort 100 souls not really worth the effort there as well up to ceiling, tons of slimes, so we're going to run it. Oh, come on. Slimes. They'll be trolling me all the time. Yeah, just this guy here to fuck whoever at the last moment. Yay for Master Key. 